Good morning, and uh, welcome to Daily Devotion at Bethel Baptist Church. My name is Eric Hilton. I want to look this morning at a passage of Scripture found in the book of 1 Samuel, chapter 30. And the Bible says in verse 6, at the latter part of the verse, the Bible says these words, David encouraged himself in the Lord, his God. David encouraged himself in the Lord, his God. But somebody asks, why would David encourage himself in the Lord? Well, David, like you and like me, go through difficult times, trouble. Man is prone to trouble as the sparks fly upward. And this was a season in King David's life where he was going through some very difficult trials. The Bible says in chapter 30 that, first of all, this land called Ziglag was invaded by the Amalekites. The Bible says that the Amalekites came and they burned David's village with fire. The Bible also says that they not only burned the village, but they had taken the women of that village captive. You see, the, the army of David had left the village and they went out to battle. But they came back. The village was burned with fire, destroyed. And the women were taken captive. Not just the women. The Bible says in verse 3 that their wives and their sons and their daughters were taken captive. Now, the Bible tells us that this was such a troublesome time for David that the Bible says that he wept. Bible says in verse 4, Then David and the people that were with him lifted up their voice and wept until they had no more power to weep. They had no energy to cry out. They, they had drained their head of tears for sorrow. But this was also a difficult time because the men who had followed David, his comrades, his friends, looked at David. They needed somebody to place blame. And the Bible says that in verse 6, and David was greatly distressed for the people spake of stoning him. They wanted to take, uh, take David's life away from him. They, they wanted to stage a mutiny. And the Bible says that David did the right thing. He encouraged himself in the Lord, his God. I wonder this morning, as you're tuning in, are you going through a difficult time in your life? Maybe COVID-19 has turned your world upside down. Maybe you're one of the people who are, have lost their business. Maybe you have lost your livelihood. Maybe you have lost friends and loved ones. And you're at wit's end and you say, I don't know what to do. Maybe you're saying to me, brother, I've wept till I have no more energy to weep. 
I've drained my head of tears. I've got no more tears. My heart goes out to you this morning. But here's my suggestion to you. To do as David did. He encouraged himself in the Lord. The Apostle Paul knew very well what it was to be encouraged through the Lord. The Bible tells us in 2 Corinthians in chapter 4 and verse 8, listen carefully what the Bible says. We are troubled on every side. Does that describe you this morning? Uh, it seems like the walls of trouble are closing in on you. But Paul says we were troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, he says. There is confusion. You don't know what is happening or why it is happening. But David, or the Apostle Paul said, we are perplexed, but we are not in despair. We are persecuted. Many Christians in this day and age, this day and age feels that they are being persecuted. Paul said we were persecuted, but not forsaken. The Bible says that I'll never leave you nor forsake you. The Bible says you're not alone. So why should you be lonely? We were cast down, but not destroyed. Oh, dear friends, you may be cast down, but you're not destroyed. Not if you've put your faith in Jesus Christ and in him alone. The Apostle Paul writes, he says, always bearing about in the body the dying of the Lord Jesus that the life also of Jesus might be manifest in our body. David, or sorry, the Apostle Paul knew full well what it was to identify with the life, the death, and the burial, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. He lived it out. In other words, the Apostle Paul did exactly what David did. He encouraged himself in the Lord, his God. Now, I don't know what you're going through. I don't know what trouble has beset you. But notice what our text says. It doesn't say just be encouraged. There are many people who can just give you positive words They'll say, brother or sister, just think positively. Just look at the thing from a different point of view. No! David didn't think positive thoughts. David didn't, didn't play ostrich. He didn't stick his head in the sand and pretend that there was no problem. That's not faith. David didn't just pull himself up by his bootstraps and say, I'm not going to let this bother me. No, dear friends. The Bible says that David encouraged himself in the Lord, his God. But how do we do that? Well, I'm reminded about the story of Pilgrim's Progress. If you haven't read Pilgrim's Progress before or if you've read it, but you haven't read it for a long time, I suggest that you go back to it. It's the second most read book in the world. The first is the Bible. And Pilgrim's Progress is Bible from front to back. And in that book, it describes this man, Christian, who is in Doubting Castle. And he's being ruled over by giant despair. Maybe you can relate this morning. You are in Doubting Castle. And giant despair is breathing on you. In this book, Pilgrim's Progress, it is said 
that Christian was able to escape Doubting Castle and giant despair by having the key of promise. To encourage ourselves in the Lord is to get into God's word and pull out the promises of God. Here's a promise for you. What then shall we say of these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? He that spared his own son, he that spared his own son, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Who shall lay anything to the charge of God's elect? It is God that justifieth. Who is he that condemneth? It is Christ that died, yea, that rather is risen again, who is even at the right hand of the Father, who also maketh intercession for us. Who shall separate us from the love of God? Shall tribulation, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword? As it is written, for thy sake, we are killed all the day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Oh, the apostle Paul says, nay, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. For I am persuaded that neither life, nor death, nor powers, nor, nor, nor principalities, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus. Encourage yourself in the Lord. The Bible says, I will never leave you, nor forsake you. Enter into the promises of God. The Bible says that what that uh, uh, if you ask anything in my name, I will do it. Dear friends, in our time of despair, in our time of distress. In our time of weakness, let us approach the cross of Jesus Christ. And may you find strength as you worship at the foot of his cross. Maybe this morning you're watching this and God is speaking to your heart. You need to trust Jesus Not only for your salvation, yes, come and trust Jesus. But you must also trust him for the times of your trouble and your distress. Won't you pray with me now? Oh, Heavenly Father, I thank you, Lord, that you are the God of all comfort. You are the God of peace. You are the God that encourages us, even in our times of trouble. You said that you to take heart, for you have overcome the world. Lord, I pray that you would encourage us this day through your word. And we would ask these things in Jesus' name. If you've made a decision for Jesus Christ this morning, Why not call the church at Bethel Baptist Church and let them know of a decision that you have made for Jesus Christ. They would love to rejoice with you. They would love to pray with you. They would love to give you some literature and some handouts and help you along on your spiritual journey. Thank you very much. God bless you.